Grazie, grazie prima di tutto di avermi dato questo. Thank you. Thank you first of all for having given me this uh, wonderful opportunity to uh, meet uh, all, all of you and uh, to uh, have this exchange to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, to the Pope, to my Cardinal, who is uh, much more the Cardinal of Lampedusa than the Cardinal of Agrigento at the moment. And clearly, you know, who's... testimonianza uh, And I'd like to begin uh, by saying that two months ago, the uh, sentence of the Court of Assize of Agrigento was uh, filed, which sentences to 30 years of jail Muhyiddin uh, Mahmoud uh, from uh, Somalia, one of the organizers of uh, uh, trafficking uh, which led to the 2013 shipwreck uh, of Lampedusa. This man, together with uh, other people armed with uh, machine guns, had uh, abducted some of those uh, travelers uh, in the desert and uh, kept them closed until their relatives paid up $3,000 each uh, as a price for their During uh, the period of uh, abduction, the uh, people, the victims, were beat up and beaten up and tortured with strange tortures too. They were, um, water was poured over them and they then they were exposed to uh, electrical current and uh, all the women uh, were raped repeatedly and they were also offered as uh, gifts to other people who went to the uh, prison to uh, take them. This is all uh, on the record of this trial. To get on the death boat, the Eritreans, uh, uh, these people who'd been abducted after having paid so dearly for their release, place, paid another $1,300 to get onto the boat which uh, took them to their deaths. Uh, in that uh, shipwreck, uh, 366 people lost their lives, as you will remember. Perhaps uh, 367, 366, because the fetus, which was um, um, expelled because of the uh, death throes of a woman, was still attached uh, by the umbilical by its umbilical cord, and after. Uh, discussion, it was decided that this didn't count as a victim. The sentence um, defines that one of the most, uh, uh, the worst um, shipping tragedies in the Mediterranean, but the greatest tragedy in the Mediterranean from the beginning of the uh, century was yet to come. It occurred on the 18th of April this year off the Libyan coast with uh, probably 900. Uh, people drowned, and uh, in between these two uh, terrible uh, shipwrecks, there have been many, many others, many, many other deaths for many causes, 29 who died from cold on uh, the uh, boat which had rescued them or was taken them to Lampedusa, people uh, burned who uh, were forced to get on the ships after a uh, gas uh, cylinder exploded in the prison they were kept in, which uh, almost um, killed them. And just a few days ago, the Syrian uh, child who died uh, of diabetes because uh, the people transporting her threw her medicines, in her insulin into the sea. So. What we're seeing is the trafficking of human beings, something which we know in Lampedusa. And these are just a small fragment of the uncountable price which uh, humanity has paid and is paying for 20 years for uh, trafficking of human beings in the Mediterranean and uh, the policies of closure uh, of frontiers and the uh, logic of uh, pushback, which uh, our Europe still continues to implement. We need to act swiftly, therefore, because 
all the things which I've talked about followed the visit of Bergoglio to Lampedusa. And Bergoglio chose that visit as the beginning of his pastoral visit to the world to state that that was the Holocaust of our times. And we need to act swiftly because uh, of those who, among those who managed to arrive alive. We have environmental refugees who, haven't, who don't have any humanitarian protection, who are um, destined to, to forced repatriation or to live without papers. Uh, the Pope began his uh, journeys there to uh, break the silence and to uh, the situation. We know things can change, he wrote today. If I were to choose the best sentence in uh, La Date Si, I think it's this one which shows that that is the way. It's not just uh, an analysis of um, the state we're in. It's not a catastrophic um, encyclical. It is a path of hope, which is pointed out to us by Bergoglio. We know that things can change, and this is something really thought when we saw Pope Francis land and uh, disembark from his plane. And actually, things have changed since then. Europe has had to open its eyes. It's had to place this great emergency of the Mediterranean on its agenda. But this is the only thing which has changed. In 2014, with the Mare Nostrum operation, it was recognized that in the Mediterranean there was a major humanitarian emergency and that Lampedusa could not be left alone. After just a year, Mare Nostrum was uh, cancelled with the cynical, on the cynical grounds that uh, the effect was not to reduce deaths but to increase the living, increase arrivals. Because um, everything seems to be changed now that uh, the silence has been broken, it seems even more inconsistent and uh, sometimes uh, ridiculous uh, to see what Europe's response is, uh, um, both in terms of the Euro European reception plan. What, what are we seeing? The, uh, it seems that uh, declarations are being used to uh, stop uh, human trafficking. People are suggesting bombing uh, boats. Uh, um, we don't consider the um, great uh, the gravity of um, the situation in Syria. There's 68,400 um, Syrian refugees this year, twice as many as last year. There's four million Syrians in refugee camps now. Um, the goal of resettlement is uh, laughable. We n there should be a, a way to ensure that those who definitely have the right to asylum to uh, are up, uh, in uh, safe and sound. And uh, the resettlement has uh, amounted to 32,000, hasn't even reached the uh, risible target of 40,000, which the European Commission had said. So these things are happening while we're still talking about 170,000 people who came in from the Horn of Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa and uh, Syria. And uh, 80,000 people have arrived uh, this year. In two th and uh, the um, results of the wars are plundering of resources on the part of rich countries. Uh, apocalyptic. Um, there are 200, 250 million um, environmental refugees between, by 20, 2015. And uh, the people who, um, from 2010, who've had to escape for uh, 42 million was the natural uh, results. So the idea of you to build walls, to uh, push back, bomb. Boats is still tragically uh, far from the awareness that not only should uh, uh, economic and uh, energy and environmental policies need to be reshaped, but we have to recognize first and foremost that politics on itself is not alone. Uh, it is uh, the prisoner of uh, uh, 
uh, area where um, difficulties uh, combine with fears uh, generating monsters, racism, xenophobia. Why uh, is it necessary to be uh, brave to combat uh, racism, xenophobia? Why do we say boldness, bravery? It's a duty, it's normal to combat uh, racism and xenophobia, and that's why we need it this encyclical because it's a global ecology which is necessary for the salvation and survival of the planet uh, and uh, for this we need ethics, beauty, scope, uh, soul as um, I'd just like to ask you, ask you to give me another minute um, I wonder how small municipalities, uh, small islands too like mine can resist uh, the crisis of modernity and how they can contribute to global ecology. We're so small. And I ask this uh, particularly today because Bergola speaks to every inhabitant of the earth and calls on our individual responsibility uh, very clearly. Lampedusa is giving this example because since 92, 300,000 more than 300,000 lives have been uh, saved. We've contributed to save uh, all these lives uh, at sea. If uh, the difficulties of living in such a remote island has not led us to say no to life, I wonder why in our sit some our cities there are uh, riots uh, against uh, bring taking in 19 people, one nine. And I think that uh, because of the climate emergency and to the problem of enslavement, we have a very important role because it's not boldness which uh, will lead us to um, combat uh, these problems. But uh, by improving reception, uh, we can uh, in work against deterioration. If we can um, um, combat deterioration uh, things and degradation things can improve. We need to combat uh, gang work, um, gang leader practices uh, and gang leader practices are now being uh, made equivalent to uh, mafia crimes and uh, alongside this um, exploited uh, labor, as alongside it being a violation of human rights, it also is something which um, distorts our economy and uh, pollutes our economy. Look and see the way these people are treated, these people who are seasonal um, fruit pickers. And um, if we um, think of further goals for Paris, and we're not able to defend the Mediterranean after we've seen that the refugees in the Mediterranean are also children of um, the oil exploitation of those countries. Why is it today that the government is not capable of uh, stopping uh, permits for drilling a few miles from Lampedusa from the Sicilian coasts in natural, near natural protected areas? Otherwise, there's no point in the battle we wage to defend biodiversity on uh, the um, beach on which uh, turtles lay their eggs uh, in uh, Lampedusa. And so these are uh, concrete ways in which we can reduce the use of fossil fuels, defend the Mediterranean as a reserve for biodiversity and as we can combat against uh, slavery, uh, the most uh, odious uh, form of treatment. Grazie, complimenti, grazie. Che cosa tu?